Hey, heads up as we inch closer to winter. <laughs> Starting next month, the National Weather Service will change the terms it uses to describe some cold weather conditions. Weather Authority meteorologist Emily Santum joining us now live in the studio here to break down what these changes are and how they could affect you. Emily. Well, these changes will go into effect after October 1st. So why are we changing things in the first place? Well, one, the National Weather Service does want to emphasize that cold means cold. They also want to ensure that cold conditions are not ignored when spreading messages about larger winter precipitation events. They're also looking to simplify messages by using one product. So let's talk about some of the changes. You may be familiar with these ones. A hard freeze watch in warning. No more of that. We're changing to a freeze watch in warning. This is when minimum temperatures are forecasted to be at or below the freezing level during local growing season. Now the next two are based off of apparent temperature or wind chill value. Wind chill warnings and watches are no more as well. They'll be changing to extreme cold watches and warnings. These will be issued when dangerously cold air temperatures or wind chill, or wind chill excuse me, values are possible or expected. And the last one, also wind chill related, wind chill advisories no more turning to cold weather advisories. These are when seasonably cold air temperatures or wind chills are occurring or expected. Now new explainer graphics will be posted by the National Weather Service next week for public use and we'll post them right on our website when they're released. Let's now send things over to Chief Meteorologist Charlie Lepresti for a look at your weekend forecast. Charlie. Hey,